Hey guys, Jen here. Um, hope everyone is having a great holiday season. And actually, over the holidays, I got the Nook for Christmas um, from Barnes and Nobles. And I've been reading a lot of books on it, and um, so I have a lot of reviews to do. And the first one I've been wanting to do is um, Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. So in Starcrossed, um, to me, this book seemed like a mix between Twilight and Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Yeah, the two main characters are Helen and Lucas, and um, it's like Twilight in the sense that, um, well, they're all demigods. Um, Helen and then Lucas has a whole family, and the dynamics and the way the family works is very like the Cullen family. There's an Alice-like character, there's some bitchy girl character, and some nice, you know, docile guy character. And it's very similar, and that's what reminded me the most about Twilight. They have this sort of like family of supernatural people. Um, and then there's Helen, um, who's also um, a demigod, but she doesn't know it until this family comes in. And um, it's a story about this curse that's been laid on them. Um, there's these different houses um, of demigods sending from a specific Greek god or Olympian. Um, and there's a curse that makes them all want to kill each other. And that's what makes Lucas and Helen star-crossed lovers, is because they fall in love even though they're supposed to kill each other. Kind of cliche like that. But, um, it it's very interesting. It's not as cliche as I'm, as I'm making it seem. But, um, yeah. Um, like the vampires, this is another reason why it reminded me of Twilight, is because, um, these demigods, like, inherit different abilities and different powers, like vampires and Stephanie Meyer's Twilight do. Um, like some of them can fly, some of them can, I forgot what, what, because it, but the others are like psychic, um, other people are just really strong, you know, like the vampire thing with Twilight. That's why it was really similar to me in my head, but um, yeah, I really like the series, the book, um, it's going to be a series, the sequels are coming out until like next spring though, to wait that long, but um, it was really, really, really good, and I highly recommend it to anyone, um, if, especially if you liked Twilight or like the whole demigod concept and Percy Jackson. I don't know if you guys read those, but um, well, I'm assuming everyone read Twilight. Like, who hasn't read Twilight? Uh, yeah. I'll give you my thoughts on Twilight another time. But, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend you guys read it. Um, oh, wrong page. Yeah. Highly recommend you guys read it. Um, Oh, and I'll, I guess I'll give you like my thoughts on the Nook. I actually really like the Nook. Um, I had the Kindle earlier. My Kindle actually broke because I was really stupid and I kept it in my book bag. And um, because of that, like the screen got all fucked up. Um, oh, I mean screwed up. But um, yeah, because of that, you know, I, and then it, I wasn't able to use it and it was it was broken. Um, long story short, and then I was too lazy to get it fixed. So my mom stole it from me and got it fixed. And then um, over the Christmas, my dad got it. I'm really cozy. And then over Christmas, my dad got me the Nook. Um, I really like the Nook. The only problem um, that I have with it, that I had with the Kindle, which isn't really its problem, is that like when it's when it's by itself, um, like I have it in a cover right now, and it's like charging on my computer. But when it's by itself, out of the cover, um, I don't really care for reading like this because it's very awkward to read. And it's not like a book at all, and I really hate that. Like, it just I, it just bothers me the way this feels just by itself. Um, but I got a cover for it, and because of the cover, it reads like a book, and that has made it really bearable for me. Um, so, yeah. Oh, God. So that, that works for me. Um, I really love the kin all e-readers, I guess, because um, it's really hard. I don't know if you have this. If, yeah. I don't know if you guys have this problem, too. But it's really hard to find a comfortable reading position for me. Because I like to read, like, lying down on my bed. And it's really hard. Like, it gets awkward. And, like, you're trying to flip the pages and then your arms. And like, it actually, it's, like, it's, like, painful. Like, my arms are hurting. Like, I don't know. But, um, the e-reader, it's really easy to read because, um, you can literally just, like, find any position. It's not heavy, so you can have it over your head. Or, and you don't have to turn pages. So, I mean, like, you don't have to shift position every time you have to read, like, another side of the book or whatever. So I really like it for that. Um, the In terms of Nook over Kindle, I really don't have a preference. Um, I think that anyone... Um, I thought that the Kindle books would be cheaper, but they're actually not. 
Barnes and Noble books are pretty cheap, and I know that Barnes has um, the thing that makes the Nook worth it for me over the Kindle is that there's a Barnes and Nobles right around here. So if there are any problems with it, I can just go to the Barnes and Noble store. Uh, versus Kindle, I mean, like you have to go through Amazon and all that, and it's it can be kind of annoying. Um, so I mean, like the support is a lot easier on the Nook. And I guess that's what makes it more accessible for me. But um, I really can't review much because I don't have, I just have the really basic version of it because I got it on like Black Friday so it was super cheap. So I mean like it doesn't have internet or anything like that, it's not even color. So I mean it's just a basic e-reader and I, I, that's fine with me, I really like it. Um, so I mean if you guys want to go down the e-reader path, you know it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on it. And yeah, I will leave you guys now. Um, so, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday, and um, I hope you guys read some of the books that I tell you to read, but, you know, if anyone's actually watching this channel, which I highly doubt, but, yeah, um, have a great holiday, guys, and text, and uh, not text, but um, comment, like, feedback and stuff if you guys read it, I'd love to hear from you, and, yeah, bye!